and welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. Check out these less than marvellous bits coming up. See, the issue is that if you have damp clothes just sitting there, they start to like, they smell bad and then you have to rewash. You don't have to though. It is optional. Yeah. You, so beautiful, clear rainwater. Yeah, is is your soap, rainwater soap, beautiful, clear? Soapy dishwashing detergent with skin's mouldy shirt in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, your friend's not that busy. If I know your friend, I'm like, I know your friend. <laughs> I have a feeling that I know which friend you're talking about. I mean, I yeah. tried to ring your time. friend this morning at 9 o'clock and he was, didn't answer because he was still asleep, so... Yeah, it's welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Mitch. And I'm Andrew. And it's great to have you joining us. Hope you're ready for plenty of fun and the occasional pun. It's your favourite radio show that's not on the radio. We Got The Chocolates. That's a win. Notice how successful last week, so I just backed yeah, it in again yeah, this nice. week. Mm. Copy paste. I like it. Mm, good feedback last week, so mm. why change a winning formula except next week I'll probably change it for yeah. variety. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Do you, do you think about driving to the pub again? That was good. What was that one? <laughs> I don't know. Did you <laughs> drive to... Beer or I fucked if I know. <laughs> Wasn't that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That um, sounds like a good one, though. Yeah, no, we'll yeah, we'll try that better. next yeah. time. Yeah. Better, yeah. uh, I've got the story. Oh, are you on WhatsApp? Obviously, yeah. great people, I'm sure. But yeah. weird, sometimes very weird place, I find. I get a lot okay. of random messages. Actually, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> do <you find laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> I just get a lot of weird messages. Yeah. Like, so uh, it reminded me today that I get them often, like from a oh, random number. Yeah. That's just like generally, obviously, like, remember those old emails? Like you've won 720 billion Nigerian dollars. Or yeah. All yeah. You need is, yeah. I think it's similar to that, but so I just get this message out of the blue today mm-hmm. <laughs> where I'm like, just trying to concentrate. David. <laughs> so straight away I think of, Dave Britt knows jack shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, he's got the wrong person. Why am I getting sprayed? What's Dave done now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but uh, David, I don't understand why you were doing this. I'm very angry. Why are you blocking my WhatsApp? I think you must return the $3,000 I lent you within the time we agreed. I don't care about money, but your betrayal of our friendship. That's okay. good. That is good. It's a nice. weird message to receive, isn't it? That is. Especially when you're not David or haven't got $3,000. <laughs> <That's laughs> if you do want to give me the $3,000, then I'm more than happy to take it. But, but if your name was yeah. David and you were a bit panicky, that could get you to pay it. It could. That's true. Yeah. Mm. But you would surely only be panicky if you had actually borrowed $3,000, yeah. you would think. You would think. Or unless you're old and senile, I suppose, maybe. Mm. I'm sure that would get a lot of folk. Yeah. Strange to say, hey, David, though, because that sort of – Yeah, but, the, the, uh, but that's the whole game, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it makes your audience so much smaller. You could appeal da- to everyone and try and trick them to give you $3,000. Yeah, I know, but if they say, hey, everyone, so it was definitely isn't for me. No, then, but yeah. it's, hey, mate. Yeah. They probably- I feel like it's a very light – Imagine how many people you'd have to send that to to get a couple of Davids. <laughs> David, David's <laughs> a pretty common name, though. It's yeah. Like, yeah, but you know, okay, yeah, you send it to, to a couple million. Lee, as you, know. you get a yeah. couple thousand Davids. Yeah. Yeah, Surely like 990 or something like that. that are saying no. <laughs> it's not like what? Anthony. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> oh, Does David Beckham still have that child? Nick his name. No, obviously, it's, it's finish your text, semi, mate. Send yeah. me another photo. I'd, flat out, I'd obviously hate to get you to do some work. Yeah. <laughs> How the SD cards go, Biggs? Yeah. Just quickly go to the toilet while we're recording, mate. <laughs> hey, Biggs, are you right to start? Oh, I thought you'd finished already. <laughs> oh, we haven't actually done <laughs> the start of the episode. Sound like me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but all the random WhatsApp ones I get are not scams. That's what I don't understand. I get people that look like a genuine accident, but I don't know how... It, Happens like surely I'm the only one with my number, but I just get, Hey, Mr. Steven, we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Will you be waiting for my arrival at Nagoya Airport tomorrow? <laughs> no, that's a scam. They're trying to get a free lift, yeah. Off but they, they I, don't, should, I reckon you should definitely say yes, but like they don't try very hard. Like I say, Sorry, I think you've got the wrong number, and they just say, Oh, my secretary put the wrong number in. It's like if you're trying to scam me, then like. No, I've got the right number. Well, you need like, to you you start being have better. You, you need to start being better for us and actually say, yeah, sure, I'll meet you there what time. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just for us. <laughs> just, just chase right, that sure, combo for right. as long as you can. Yeah. Okay. Also, right. have you checked your bank account? Are you sure that in the time you were writing that message, they haven't hacked you and taken all your money? Ooh. God, I'll God, double God, check. Well, it's God, normally so. pretty just across worth that checking. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move across to a joke of the day. And once again, massive thank you. To, they're coming in in all forms, written... No videos, no visual. You were requested videos a couple of times. No yeah, one sent that. Hasn't happened yet. So not no. all forms. Two no. of the forms. Two no. of the forms. Multimodal. Uh, but we have got a well, written one. Uh, how do you say this name? C E R I. How would you say that? I would say Sherry. Sherry. As in like Sherry Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Sherry. Who sings that? 
Frankie uh, Darling, Frankie four seasons. Bella, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, go. Sick. Keep up, mate. Mm. Match my intensity. Was it Frankie Barbarucci or something like that? No, Frankie Valley's not his actual real oh, name. Yeah, yeah, sure. he's gonna no, Frankie, the one yeah. you said, was the yeah. guy off WhatsApp, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, from Sherry. Uh, here's, a typical judge. here's a typical dad joke for you. What's made of leather and sounds like a sneeze? Shoe. Oh, oh it's, it's cute. That took you way too long. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's Sherry. What? No, but not. well, if it is, thanks very much for sharing. Uh, <laughs> Maybe put a Sherry on top of that skin. <laughs> have we got one? Have we got an audio no, one? I guess. Let me find it. Can you do a pun while I'm looking? <laughs> no, I can't. I haven't got a pun. Just press the button. <laughs> hey, fellas, got a couple of on-trend jokes for you from last week's podcast. What's the best cheese to hide a horse? Mascarpone. What did the cheese say when it saw itself in the mirror? Hello, me. What's a ninja's favourite cheese? It's for gang. Feta. <laughs> uh, I was going to tell you another one, but it's too cheesy. Cheese jokes. They're pretty gouda. Oh. <laughs> now you do one, Skin. <laughs> <laughs> you literally can't. <laughs> all the cheese. All the cheese. <laughs> all the cheese. <laughs> What's left? <laughs> what do oh, I do? Yeah. No, That's really good. Yeah, that was Ben. What was your yeah. favourite of the four cheesecakes? Uh, oh, jeez, I'd have to get you to play that. Oh, there was one feta, easily. Yeah, feta. That was really good. No, but the, but there was there was one before that that I can't, can't yeah, literally can't remember now. But two before that. I really, I really no, I know. But one of the two I'd already heard because you tell stupid puns twenty four seven. But one of them I hadn't. That was Mascarpone. pleasant surprise. Mascarpone, bang, there you go. No, Beautiful. I've told you that one. Mm. You haven't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably have. Can you do some housekeeping? Oh yeah, housekeeping. I've got that. Uh, we have a review. Oh, we've got we've got two reviews. One in relation to last week comes from MP Double D Aaron. Stop reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, get ready. It's really good. <laughs> Says Wait, you, we read this one last week. No, I know. But if you if if you haven't listened to last week's episode, go you do that. Sorry for the homework. I know what's happening. MP yeah, Double D Darren says that was technically a pun. Skin. I've changed it to five stars. Darren. Remember, he only put a four star. Yeah, I yeah, should have yeah. known that. Sorry. Thank you, Darren. Greatly appreciate it, mate. Mm. Um, sorry, I haven't given you a pun yet this week, but She's zooming in on this one, mate. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, well, it's large, uh, and that's the writing, yeah. Though. Sorry, uh, large is in lots of words. The font is not large, so <laughs> long way to zoom. But anyways, uh, other one comes from high, high vacancy. Got to pour a beer in my ear. G'day, Keith and Keith Letts. Listening Keith to the, Keith, Keith Letts. Sorry, uh, listening to these chick, chicken dicks. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? What? Are we the chicken dicks? Yeah, I think we are. I think we're oh. the chicken dicks. Oh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, take it. Uh, sure. Uh, been listening to these chicken dicks for a while now. Still playing catch up on those old episodes, including the 1920s radio quality of the first couple. Yeah. Sorry about God that. God damn, he's working hard. You don't have to do that. But yeah. I, pre- I appreciate it. Uh, listening to these blokes while on holiday keeps me going and laughing. It's a bit plain and Ubers and what? It's a bit plain and Ubers and trains as well. I did leave a joke. Oh, you get I, that? Plane. No, I think I've had a mare there. Bit of plane. An aeroplane. Aeroplane, oh, yeah. but also it has a double meaning. That's what a pun is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's forgot good. about episode 149 skins <laughs> unlock the meaning of the pun. Oh, I can oh, do these now. That's pretty easy. Oh, is that all you have to do? It's just something with like two meanings. <laughs> Same thing with two meanings, yeah. Wow. Who the fuck could I? Uh, anyways, I did leave a joke for you boys, but... Oh, jeez. Sorry. I've got to work so hard to scroll back over to where I'd zoomed in. But... <laughs> Of course, old skinless failed to match the intensity <laughs> once again, so I thought I'd write it in here. Skinless. I'm loving sk- that, that. People have started calling you that now. I what? fucking love it. Skinless. Where else have we gotten that? Nah, Why am I, I think skinless? It last we got another well. skin one, didn't we? Someone said skinless skin before. Something. No, I don't know if it was skin skinless. Skin no, no, it was Principal Skinner could have yeah, cut himself out of a wet paper skinless. bag. Yeah. <laughs> Surely skin. <laughs> nah, skin. I like skinless. Skin's a rogue enough nickname. I don't need very <laughs> yeah, you do. skinless list. And I have skin. <laughs> oh, I don't need to hear that, mate. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Some people are circumcised skin. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, I just made the joke. I just meant I just meant as well. But, oh, Go on. I, Hurry up. Yeah, I'm trying really hard. Uh, uh, anyways, his joke. A rope walks into a bar and orders a drink. The barkeeper says, sorry, we don't serve your kind in here. The rope walks out. Twists himself up, parts his hair, walks back in and orders a drink. The barkeep says, "Won't you just in here?" And the rope says, "I'm afraid not." Then mm. <laughs> high vacancy says, "Now you do one skin." Yeah. And I say, <laughs> "You've no. been, <laughs> been told to do one twice," yeah. <laughs> which I love. Please keep sending those in. Yeah. At the end of every review, make sure you say, "Now you do one skin." We will get him to do one eventually, won't we? Go to yeah, yeah, eventually. Mm. 
Wonder. Wonder. Skinless chicken. Uh, now, one of the great segments that we do is when we get to catch up with our friend Yana for Yarns with Yarns. And we did that earlier this evening. And this is exactly how it went. All right, well, it's a segment that gives us great joy every time that it happens. It's called Yarns with Yarns, and the reason is because Yana is here in the building. Why Hello. are you looking that weird already? Did know. you mispronounce gives? Yeah, what does gives us mean? What gives us joy? <laughs> oh, grabs us? No. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I said gives. I didn't even know. No. Thanks yeah. for bringing it up. You Yana, you know, obviously. Hey, hey, Yana. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks How are you? for having me. No, thanks for being here. I think I've got this jingle. Still got the baby, obviously. Yep, still have her. <laughs> Is there something wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I really like that jingle. Oh, did, you that well that, did you make that one today? No, I no, played it the last yeah. time. I think I've done it on a few yeah, we've heard that before. <laughs> Is this another one of those segments that has about seven jingles in it? Yep. Don't yep. we have, nah. We've got an outro and yep. stuff. Yeah, We've done yeah. a Rihanna song or something yeah, at one stage. which is now gone. No, that's Oh, that's, that's gone, is it? Okay, good. That was oh, very nice. I miss singing you sing Rihanna. <laughs> no, no. You can it, sing it. I don't think it was me that sung it. Uh, it was someone else. No, it was you. Oh, no, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, surely it wasn't me. Surely. Oh, maybe, did I get involved? Oh, was it Cody? It wouldn't have been Cody. Uh, it's never I mean, sung my, Actually, no, you did sing one. Sang Better Man by Pearl Jam. I'm not an idiot. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not a jingle, though. You sung that one for Cody's guest. Be my guest. Yeah, to be fair, we had 48 schooners before we did that. that <laughs> <time. laughs> anyway, Yana, uh, checking in with you. I actually saw an article that I don't know why it made me think of you, uh, just because you're a parent. Yeah, um, yep, still a parent. Still a parent. Still still a parent. Still a parent. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and I saw this article that was labeled, what was the title? Men. Dad gets shamed for using a leash with five-year-old quintuplets. Now, I've never had uh, even one child. Go to you've got two and the rate that you complain about how much you're on the tools. <laughs> I imagine that quintuplets would be quite hard. Five would be a challenge, I'd imagine. <laughs> a yeah. challenge, yeah. Five would be a, a good, a good, a good game. And, yeah. and five at the same time. Have you seen this video of the, the man taking the well, – just literally just before the show, we, yeah. we got shown it. We can probably put something up for YouTube, I think, can't we, Dave? Course. Well done, Dave. You're five times, <laughs> so that you so that you can see what we're talking about. But do you have an issue with it? The blow ups online? Do you see as no. a storm in a teacher? No, I, I find it really. Ref- well, I, I don't. Like, so Dad's doing his best, and he still gets shamed. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, how, how can he possibly when he's got a five? mum would get shamed yeah. more. He it's, says his, well, he says yeah. his yeah. wife also uses the leash in yeah, the article. There's five, ki- there's five kids the same age. Yeah, yeah. So what do you want chaos. them to do? Put them in a trolley? <laughs> <laughs> I would never leave the house. Good on that, Dad. I Actually, if I had five good? kids that were all the same age, I would never leave the nah, house. No, you got you got to get out. How? <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, now we also run a segment actually called Asking for a Friend where which we pretty much just did there that was obviously a mate of mine uh, where we get to ask Yana um, on behalf of your friends our friends uh, who might be in the doghouse we find that Yana is very good at getting us out um, mm. great conflict resolutioner mm. resolver I like I normally just tell you that yeah, you're wrong. I yes. think you just confirm that we <laughs> yeah. belong in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, that's fine. My one, Yarns, I'll, I'll start with me before we get you to the You are your friend. Oh, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> right, I mean, right. Just, I get yeah. so invested in his life. <laughs> 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 Such good mates. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like we're one of the same. Anyway, uh, how long is an acceptable time? I find little little jobs, like they're not really jobs, more like probably chores or just household tasks. Give that me an example. Don't I be like, vague. That I hate. You like hate or your what, friend hates? I, my, hate, my friend hates. Friends, yeah. <laughs> so much that it feels yeah. like I hate it. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're a really good friend. I can really see where he's so, from. Yeah, my friend hates doing washing badly okay. but finds the first part quite easy. They're like putting the actual clothes in the washing. Uh, he's sure. quite happy to do that part. Really struggles with the removing them and taking them to the line aspect. What's an acceptable amount of time between cycle finishing to uh, – going on the line. See, the issue is that if you have damp clothes just sitting there, they start to like, they smell bad right. and then you have to rewash. So. You don't have to though. <laughs> I find that if you, <laughs> for my friend, when he airs them out, they're fine. It is optional. Yeah, where do you air them out? Oh, sorry, the where does your friend air No, them just out? on the line. Except okay. that same friend one time has had a uh, shirt that's been completely like, Faded by the sun because it was out on oh, the line. So that's for the that second long. part of your issue. Okay. 
Um, that really process. struggles with. I'd say there's a three step process. Actually, so yeah. from washing machine to hanging them out to uh-huh. bringing them in, and often four steps because that same friend, the clothes never make it from the basket once brought in, also, and just tends to keep rotating from the basket. Is that sort of play on you reckon? What do you think? I'm so no. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. your friend's not that busy. If I know your friend, <laughs> I know your friend. I have a feeling that I know which friend you're talking about. Are you gonna wake uh, up before yeah, nine thirty yeah. a.m. one day? I mean, yeah. I tried to ring your time. friend this morning at nine o'clock, and he was a- didn't answer because he was still asleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> Mate, your friend's no, not no, that. No. Busy. He was hanging uh, close on the line. No, yeah, he's flat out. Damn. Um, no. yeah. Anyway, uh, truth be told. That friend, um, it skin. doesn't go down very well with the other half. Mm. So, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> frustrates yeah, I would her. say just use your common sense. Yeah. So, um, you know what? Like eight hours is fine. Okay, so, if okay. you've washed it in the morning yeah. and you go to work, yeah. so you put it on that when your friend goes to work yeah. um, and you come home, then hang it out or put it in the, in the dryer or whatever. Just you really reckon, can't be. Bothered. I reckon even just taking it out of the washing, even if you just put it, put it in, in the basket, basket yeah. at least it's sort of out of a It buys you an yeah. extra eight hours. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, Has right. either of you two got friends that Doghouse was? Uh, or do you want well, me to Well, I was, sort of, I was just going to jump off the back of that. Uh, I've got a mate yeah. actually who's had sim- similar uh, mm. clothes washing dramas. Mm. So this this friend had a, had a white linen shirt, chucked it in the bottom of the washing basket one day when it was dirty and then sort of just – I was washing on top of it throughout the week. Some of that was uh, sweaty cricket gear. Mate from oh, your friend from, yeah, yeah, from, from the cricket club. Is yeah. he in your team? Yeah, he's in my team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mate 16 on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Good player. <laughs> Mr. Straight one. <laughs> G'day, Herf. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, so a bit of, bit of sweaty cricket gear on top of this white linen shirt. And then apparently – as he's now learned, you have to wait. You can't throw colours and whites in the same thing. So you've got to wait to get enough white clothes to wash that. So it sits there for quite a while with sweaty sweaty mm-hmm. gear on top of it and then he's gone to wash it and it's mouldy. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh. Yeah, it's not the best. A back nice, the, nice the, white linen shirts now. The, okay. Yeah, no, I have, I have a point of that too. Colours colors and whites, nah. First wash you, maybe. Hang on, are you telling me you can mix them? Yeah. With, yeah. with cold water? Yeah, yeah okay. even Thank warm, you. I think, Thank fine. You. Warm's not, fine, not hot yeah. and not on the first wash. If you have like a new pair of jeans, do not put them in with whites. They say you shouldn't even wash jeans. Yeah, like, no, put yeah. in the fridge. Put it in the apparently. freezer. Yeah, I have heard that. Weird. I ran him. Or like I, just, I just can't Don't thank you that. enough for saying that, though. That's I, fine. My I'm, friend no, is going to send this straight to Eloise cards. as soon as we stop recording. Wait a minute. Is your friend's <laughs> girlfriend's name Eloise as well? Yeah, yeah. Real weird coincidence. But yeah, don't do it with like bright colours. Okay. For the first few washes. But yeah. if it's like a, a blue shirt that you've had for five years and has gone through the wash that many times, it's not losing any more colour. Yeah. You're fine. I've Noted. never separated colours and whites. In no, terms so. of the mould. Yeah. Can you do anything about that's that? That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and chuck your shirt. Chuck my shirt. It's too late. I so can't chuck your friend's shirt. Yeah, okay, yeah. does hate mould. Go over his house. Yeah. Oh, and Yana oh, came yeah. here and there was some mould on the roof. What and do you like mean? Okay, out. sorry. <laughs> Why are you saying it like Yana hates mould? Do you know it? Mold. <laughs> Who doesn't hate mold? Don't people eat it in yogurt or something? Blue van cheese. Oh right. Oh, yeah, cheese. Yeah. You say that like I'm super unreasonable. Like Yana hates mold. When my ceiling is <laughs> no. covered in stuff, she like Okay, black mold in the ceiling, probably not <laughs> ideal. In their defense, it was in the middle of the flood. What, what, can, you do? Now, what can you do about it? <laughs> what can you do about it? At the bottom just of the washing mums, basket. Our mum's theory on mould growing up was like, it's just a bit of penicillin. It's it's healthy. It's, <laughs> mm. oh, it's, it's good for you. Quite the same. Keep it <laughs> Um, oh, uh, yeah, so I've, got, <laughs> I've got a couple from the uh, for the chalkies actually. Got told okay. to bring the washing in and said I'd do it after the footy finished. It rained and everything got soaked. That's from Alex. That's so just- I hope Alex rewashed the whole batch. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Alex didn't wear use pegs. But like, again, that's just water. It's just going to take a bit longer to dry. Great. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, I've always agreed. agreed with that. What is do it? You? Yeah, what's wrong with water? Extra water. <laughs> Are you, so beautiful, clear rainwater. Is, is your soap, rainwater soap, beautiful, clear? Soapy dishwashing detergent with skin's mouldy shirt in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It's a genuine no-brainer. Uh, no, is your uh, rainwater just super clear? Yeah, I could drink it. From the sky it is, but it might hit the roof of your mm, deck on the way that's, down. That's, that's what I'm that's thinking. That's not good. I'll clean my yeah. roof. Yeah, well, <laughs> let us <laughs> you do not. I'm going in my roof. Cody has time for a lot of extra chores. Bloody hell. Yeah, no wonder you are in such a rush. Cody's got more hours in the day. 
yeah. than we do. Yeah. He's already had three showers today as well. So <laughs> <laughs> it's every fourth. <laughs> oh, not, not, not here. here. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay. Uh, let's get away from washing for some others. I called her my ex's name, introducing her to someone I'd forgotten the name of. Oof. Mm. Mm. That's probably not great. I wouldn't say. I can't imagine there's much coming back. From there's that. no coming back. Uh, that that is something you will spend the rest of your life. Oof. Yeah, that hurts. <gasps> no, it is. That's yeah. so I'd like bad. to introduce you to my girlfriend. Wrong name. That's bad. Yes. Yeah. No. That's bad. Like yeah. you would be making up for that for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, that's a fair bit of dog ass. Can't help you. Um, I actually can't That's help the kennel of that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three day hangover after she warned me not to have a one day hangover. I mean, you <sighs> haven't really helped your cause there. No, but that's I think maybe you won the flag on the weekend though. But Doesn't I think matter, with, it's with, with can't the hangover, about being I, in the dog house yeah. then. I reckon with the hangover, I think you've just got to put up a front and just sort of accept, just deal with the fact that you're hangover and just try your best to be your best yeah. for the day. Just try really hard. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I reckon if you do really good stuff in the morning up until lunch, I reckon you can Coast get away. Time. Yeah, and just sort of cruise home. Mm. Yeah. Um, and just, it's hangover's an attitude. Three days. That's a that's three a days is big. Mm. That's a good lift, isn't that? Holy dooly, that's a good drink. What about this one? Um, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, might have some allergy or something. You probably could get checked out. You see, you're saying probably it's bad luck. get checked out. I feel like yeah, three days. Three days is excessive. That's... He's got an allergy to those 65 yeah. years he had. Of yeah. <laughs> damn <laughs> hop, damn have hops. <laughs> people have that. Another another mate from the cricket club is like a, allergic to alcohol, or some condition. It, it happens. Dust hangovers, and you just can't have no option but to not. Who drink. is that, that man? I'm not going to drop his name. Oh, like, Nick Stevens went a whole season know, not buying beer saying because he was celiac, but he's not actually celiac because he just wanted to buy beers for anyone. That's brilliant. It's very <laughs> smart. That's, that's very you. smart. That belongs in another segment. <laughs> getting savvy. Skin's about to adopt that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what have I got? Mrs. had COVID. This is from Dom. I didn't. That's good. Yeah. Set up good. the swag in the backyard for two weeks. Literal doghouse. Wait, hang on. He's the one without COVID. He didn't have COVID. And he's he been punted to the backyard. So why is she angry at him for? No, he's literally. No, I think he's just saying oh, he's sleeping just outside. Like right. Isolating, I guess. Yeah, he's just know. taking it. What? I've, 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 I most people just can... both get COVID, don't they? If yeah. you're in a relationship, don't you just cop that you're going to get it? Well, yeah, I got. Kind of what we I did. got COVID and assumed yeah. Eloise would already have it by the time I tested positive. That's what we did too. Yeah. And we she just never assumed. got it. That's incredible. Yeah, I don't know. I Dom slept with Kathleen and I slept in Dom's room when we had COVID. She also have COVID. All three of them had it. I think oh. she just wanted to keep me out of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a good night's rest. <laughs> Andrew, you got COVID. Yeah, so do you. No. No, no, no. <laughs> different, different strain. Oh. Off you go. Yarns, what about this to finish with these ones? There's, what's your – has this actually happened? Uh, we've got three. Three of the same genre. Dreams related. <laughs> <laughs> so, from has this ever happened to you? From yeah. Rob, various atrocities I've committed in her dreams. Dream me as a notorious dick in our house. <laughs> from Jack, she had a dream that I kissed another girl. It wasn't a pleasant Monday morning. And from H Boy, I ignored her and ditched her for for my mates in her dream the night before. <laughs> Okay, confession. Yeah. I've absolutely been mad at Matt about his dream life. Because <laughs> you wake up and it's so real. Like any dream you've ever had, you wake up and for a minute you're confused. Yeah, but okay. it's literally. <laughs> I suppose so. Cody's not happy with me. You are not impressed by yeah, that. It is the most farcical thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Have you been life. in trouble for dreams? No, of course I'm not. I'm not saying it's okay. <laughs> And I'm not saying that it's been like the whole day, but definitely for the first like hour of the morning, I've been a little bit like standoffish with Matt. I can't help it. You just feel like. You feel like he, it's him. I just watched him cheat on me. Dream Matt is actual real Matt. Uh, it's true. Goody, that can happen. It absolutely cannot happen. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have dreams? Oh, I guess so. It's usually about not being able to get my pads on in time or, or, or like air swinging on a golf tee. Not about that. <laughs> Well, Kathleen should be angry at you for air swinging on a car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've been watching Lee too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lee's friend. <laughs> um, actually, dream real Matt, not dream Matt. Real mm. Matt. Well, he is dreamy. Well, he is dreamy, mm. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But Can you not hit on my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he's not here. Oh, do it in my dreams then. <laughs> that's something a bit better. <laughs> um, he actually dobbed himself in as well. May have yeah. top dressed the lawn to the point it looks like a private beach. Yeah. He sent us a photo. I don't think it's a great beach. You can post that photo. I'll let you do that. Okay. Um, it's the worst beach I've ever seen. Mm. Lacks water. Lacks a lot of water mm. except for my child's had nice splash pool. Beautiful lawn. Beautiful. It's, it, it's the best it's looked in like mm. 
since we moved into that house, I reckon. And hasn't Matt always loved doing the lawns? He loves a lawn guy. Like so, like okay, Matt's going to hate things, me saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Excellent. Matt goes through phases uh, where he's like super passionate about the lawn. Okay. It's like a month stint and it yeah. happens probably three times a year okay. where he's like, this lawn is going to be perfect. Okay. And he does everything he can and then one day he just gets sick of it and okay. then he stops. <laughs> And that's usually, usually when the lawn starts looking great. (laughs) It's when Matt's like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm bored now. And the lawn just gets that little bit of a break from being like screwed. And then (laughs) the lawn looks amazing. But yes, on the weekend, he decided to do what he calls a lawn renovation. Um, So he scalped it, aerated it, and then dumped a crap ton of sand on it. So now we just have a massive sand pit. Okay. He calls it a private beach. It's not. <laughs> What's the theory? What's meant to happen? I don't know. Okay. You can Google we'll tell you, we it. Can well, maybe the water comes it. into the backyard from the beach. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, to make matters there. worse, okay. Saturday, the day after he'd done that and he spent the entire day doing it, mm. he sat up until about 11 o'clock at night watching videos of other people do it on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, after he's already <laughs> done it? After he's <laughs> already do done it. The night before. Yeah. Until yeah. so that Friday. I yeah. did you put too much on there. <laughs> oh, crap. Why did I study for that exam after I sat the exam? <laughs> but no, he does work very hard and I do appreciate Obviously, it. Obviously, yeah. Of course yeah, you do. He's a bloody great man. He's he is a great man. man. Just take it easy over there. Just that is good yeah. 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 Oh. about to. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a great day today. I'm just in a good mood. Okay, mm. that's good news. Mm. Well, this will put you in a better one, another jingle. Yana, thank mm. you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and we'll check in with you in a few weeks and check in with the progress on your beach. <laughs> Hopefully it's not there anymore. <laughs> Like this one, or? yeah, it's not your worst. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? I've definitely heard of it. We yell at layering. Hey, Thank you, Yarn. All righty. As good as that was from Yarns, I figure we should probably try and sneak some sport into this podcast if we don't mind. A bit of Australian sport. <laughs> some people take yeah. lawn growing for- as a sport. I think. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Anyway. Don't think about it for yeah. too long. You're actually oh, yeah, doing a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like we, we just got, had a five-minute conversation about how we go for time. You yeah, said we're there really short for time. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, anyway. and let me just process yeah. this. Yeah. Hold on. I'm yeah. thinking of yeah. a part. I'm thinking of a part. Yeah. I've got something. It'll come. Uh, no, it, it won't come. I've got I've got AFL. We're going to talk about the AFL, I reckon. A um, few things happening. The brown lows were last night. Yeah. It was good. It was good, really good. Yep. There's only one brown low, not the brown low. Sorry, sorry, is in the the night of the brown low medal. Yes. The night of nights. Was, yeah, yeah. Night of nights. Yeah. Uh, Paddy Cripps won from Carlton, who fell out of the finals, didn't make the finals. So that was a bit interesting. They yeah. won. They had the Coleman medal and the brown low, and yeah. they finished ninth. Mm. Yeah. So unlucky. the leading goal kicker and the best player in the comp mm. apparently. Finished ninth. I yeah. think you might have predicted Paddy Cripps winning the Brown a few episodes ago, but anyway. Did good you? See, good I'm to see you get that. Up. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you got that up. Yeah. That is um, about that. But that is cool. I didn't like that that's that's cool that Paddy Cripps is first Brown though. I feel like he's been quite dominant in the comp for a long time. And I think he burst onto the scene as soon as he's the last few years have been not quite, but just Yeah. yeah. Well struggled a bit because Carlton have been struggling, yeah. I feel. But like that obviously turned into a guru this year and fucking nice. Yeah. Yeah. Could have easily been ineligible too. He was suspended at one stage for the last round and then had it overturned by the tribunal. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit of a controversy, isn't it? No, not really. Well, I don't think anyone that cares that much about it is a even. But <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah. yeah, genuinely, easily could have been, could have been the other way. Lockie Neal finished second, could have been his second brown though. But yeah. I'm fairly certain Chris Grant should have won a brown though, but he got suspended one year. I think. All right. Chris Grant, who we haven't actually mentioned yet this episode. <laughs> so close. <laughs> You'll hear about that <laughs> later. <laughs> oh, that is unlucky. <laughs> Stay with us, Google. Sometimes, sometimes you just can't help that bad luck. Yeah, that's yeah. You can't possibly control <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Anyways, there are other other talking points uh, from the AFL. <laughs> also, from the <laughs> from from the Brownlows last night, uh, it was outgoing AFL CEO Gil McLaughlin uh, couldn't quite work out how to pronounce. One of the more well-known players' mm. names, which Pretty dominant uh, player, yeah, one, of the fa- one of the favorites. Yeah, 
Everly in the Verge might have been. He won last year's Brown though. No, no. Norm. Ollie won. Ollie oh, won. Okay. He was best player in the final. Yeah, yeah. Okay, final. Right. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, apologies. This is Christian Petrarca. Christian that we're Petrarca. Yeah. 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 Petrarca won the um, Norm Smith last year. Okay. That's what they're thinking of. I think. Yeah. That, that, I'm Norm Smith. thinking of so the best player. So that, sounds, yeah. that yeah. sounds like it would yeah. be that. Yeah. 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 Anyways, hopefully Lee's got some audio for us. But two votes. Melbourne C. Petrarca, three votes. Brisbane. Now, uh, that's all it is. That's the audio, mm. which doesn't sound like a big deal, really. Like, his name's Christian Petrarca. Gil says Christian Petrarca. Yeah. But then what's quite funny is that in the live Brownlow <laughs> vision, <laughs> <laughs> and again, we'll get this video up on YouTube. Dave, write Dave, that down. Write it down. Um, that's a long list. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we <laughs> Dave's flat out <laughs> <laughs> because he's just scrolling. Yeah. Presumably <laughs> pictures of his cat. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Hey, what happened? That's good. Oh, you guys, I'll be recording. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, it flicks to Christian Petrarca's face and he mouths with like, I think he says it quite loud, yeah. but you obviously his audio are there. He says, <laughs> it's fucking Petrarca yeah. like that. Like, but you'd see his mouth yeah. be quite vividly upset about it. So I'd assume that he's maybe just got to a point where he's sick of people messing it up. Or he's had uh, a skin yeah, fall. Or he's had a skin yeah, fall, Or that. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. probably happened. A few times throughout the night, I assume, or would that have been the only time? Yeah, well, he polled quite a few votes. So yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. I just can't say that. Votes. <laughs> if you know you're going up to a big night to make a big speech, surely that's like the one thing you get down is pronouncing people's yeah, names. Name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're probably reading a lot of names, but yeah, but, but you even could like, practice. like I think in those events, like, I'll go back to the one game I played for Queen's Ed, Like they asked me how to pronounce my name for one game. Yeah. They obviously knew I was only going to play one game. All <laughs> 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 but like, like Tracker got like a lot of votes last year, yeah. and uh, like won Norm Smith medal last year. It was one of the games Premier yeah, players. Right. You'd yeah. think that. Yeah, you'd, you'd think you'd pronounce it. And I just love how confident he was too. Like he really emphasised it. Yeah, Christian Tracker. But Tracker. <laughs> And Christian did not yeah, appreciate not it, man, as it turns yeah. out. Good vision. Yeah. Yeah, as well. you just watched yeah. on YouTube. Um, shall we Shall we cover the other one as well? There was. Well, you want to cover my bet first, but anyway, that's fine. Okay. Have I missed something? No. Nah, so the us? wonderful people at Labbrokes, I had a little bet on the Brownlow, as I'm tended to do. Yeah. I had a Brownlow. Love. I do like a gamble, especially yeah. using Labbrokes. They are wonderful. Yeah, great they? people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already put some of their ads in the episode. Yeah, but we'll have, well, have another one. Go again. Have yeah. another one. Why not? They've, they've just paid me a little bit more. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to bet, so you yeah. should use this app. Yeah, <laughs> a wonderful. But anyway, um, uh, I had a Brownlow Metal Trifecta, Box Trifecta, which means in any order of Cripps, Neil, Took Miller from Gold Coast. Which is the exact order. You yep. called that. I sent you the photo today. Do you not fucking read? Mate, why didn't you send it he to also, me on bloody Friday? He also sent you an email that said, hey, guys, I've just retired from work because of that. Wow. That's mm. been nice, eh? Well done. <laughs> yeah. I happy? Betting. Very happy. Oh, I wouldn't no, have been happy if you told me no advance. impact on our life. Yeah, once. absolutely <laughs> zero. <laughs> I must have been. I was cock hoop when I woke up this morning. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah no. no, strangely enough, it didn't seem to have any positive effect on me. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I lost most of it today, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, around good on you. Yeah, All right, I'm but, really happy for you. Uh, if we've got time, last thing from the AFL, uh, Buddy Franklin, well, the, the Swans played Collingwood on the weekend and Brilliant. one point game in the prelim. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty exciting. Yeah. And there was footage came out today of uh, a Magpies player who, if you give Braden me two, Maynard, we don't, we don't have the time for me to find it. So thank you, Lethal. Braden Maynard, mm-hmm. uh, like, Rubbing up Buddy Franklin's oiled arms. Yeah, I'm glad he's had arms. <laughs> yeah, arms, okay. arms. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, but that's a common thing that players are doing now. Tom Hawkins was very oily on mm. Friday night. I yeah. mean, I don't think that was the difference between the two sides. Brisbane got beaten by 129,000 <laughs> yeah. No, I reckon that would have changed it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, players, what, what do you think? I'll put it on the Instagram story today. What was the results? Yeah, so should you be allowed to oil up before a game? Nah, genuine cheating, 63%. Yeah, makes your arms look nice, 37%. Cheating? I mean, like I put mayo on it, but I think people are just saying, no, you shouldn't be able to. What? But why yeah. though? Why shouldn't you it's be able slippery. to? slippery. You can't tackle them. Do you That's remember? why Braden Man, I was trying to rub the oil off his arm because it's too slippery. Uh, grow up, honestly. You no, last week were whinging about how it's so hard to tackle people, blah, 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 blah. You've got this much space. Yeah, I'm saying there should be like less penalties and now you're trying to penalise him for putting art, freaking oil on his arm. I'm trying arms. to penalise him. You just saying, said you should be penalised. On your... what? No, he said it's cheating. So it's big difference. So yeah. cheating you're allowed to be penalised. You're allowed to be penalised. There's nothing wrong with cheating in sport, mate. Yeah, but like, 
You remember, I think I've told this story in the podcast when James Graham had Jaminder on the back of his legs when he got tackled. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and yeah. Nate Miles like scraped it off his leg and then rubbed it in his face. I find that quite funny. Yeah, but that is yeah. funny. <laughs> well, yeah, I think you, I don't see why you shouldn't be allowed to wear it. Like you're allowed to try yeah. and what get it actually some do? advantage. What's it's it doing? not. Well, it's just making him harder to tackle, I guess. But that's fine. Okay. Like it's truly well, okay. Well, we'll draw the line. But what if it? you're allowed to wear it, then other players should be allowed to yeah. rub it off. And can they bring out a in towel face? in the back of their shorts and then like start a, rubbing it off? Like, like for that. some reason, all the batters and world creed have got this obsession with putting towels in the back of their strides at the moment. Yeah, I don't get that. What are you Man. possibly doing it with it as a batsman? I don't know. Drying the ball, washing probably. your sweat, uh, presumably down your, down your toilet. Yeah, like. but then that. Well, okay. I was going to say, I don't know AFL or cricket, but just sport in general, people always then have like that grippy powder thing they rub into their hands uh-huh. to like catch it better. Like if you if you were going to outlaw oily arms, you have to. You yeah, surely you have, have to outlaw, outlaw that as well. Why don't we just don't outlaw anything? Just let it be a free for all. Yeah, yeah. I've always said yeah. that. Yeah. I think that's what Lance Armstrong would. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I saw someone suggest that. <laughs> <laughs> that they should do like they should just do like an unhinged Olympics every couple of years yeah. and just see like what what are humans really what, capable yeah, of? What is just, it? <laughs> <laughs> just let all the steroids just, just and stuff into the game. See what happens. Yeah. Someone will run like a yeah. six second hundred meter. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys see that hundred meter race? No, I missed no, it. I, missed it. <laughs> I was just in the John. <laughs> He made it in point 0.4 of a second, yeah. but he blinked and I missed it. Oh, I had a sip of my beer. He's freaking gone. Uh, uh, speaking of blinking and missing it, um, oh God. I, well, that's not a great segue, but uh, rugby, but as I cut, we've been accused of not speaking about rugby enough in recent weeks. Mm. And I actually sat down and watched this game, Australia v. the All Blacks in the Bledisloe Cup last Thursday night. Did you? Mm, yeah, I did. Well done. I did not. Uh, I watched the first half. Yeah. I and watched anyway, the highlight a, we're going to talk about. Yeah, so if you had to watch the full thing, you would have seen that Australia lost on mm. the back of, I guess, a somewhat controversial decision that people that know rugby have all been saying, certainly Australian people that know rugby in mm. the media have been saying it was an absurd decision. Uh, where they were basically penalised for delaying the game mm. for time wasting, and then the All Blacks scored after the siren, after the hooter, while the place still alive, and won the Bledisloe Cup again for the hundredth year in a row, or whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, any thoughts on that? I mean, it caused a media storm, that's for sure. Most yeah. people feeling that Australia was ripped off entirely. Yeah, I think, well, everyone I've spoken to about it is Australian, so it probably has a small bias, I would think. But everyone seems quite outraged by it. Um, and I'm, you know, seriously educated, having watched 35 seconds of rugby union in the last in, couple in your of months. Life. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that that one piece of video. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it it seems like technically the umpire ref ref ref, ref umpire. Please. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> he gave him enough warning, yeah. though, did he not? Yeah, huh? yeah well, exactly. Yeah. It seems like technically he's done nothing wrong. Like it seems like the correct decision. The referee. Yeah, the the referee's done nothing wrong. It seems like the correct decision. Yeah. It just also seems like a stupid decision and. Like, uh-huh. like that's the f- uh, well. They they interviewed. I think they were they were talking to a bunch of people from the Australian team and the All Blacks team, and yeah. no one's seen it happen in international rugby yeah, union before. Right. So it's it just seems outrageous mm-hmm. and stupid, and like a ref trying to be too involved. And yeah, but I had to say it. But uh, and I haven't watched enough examples to know. I'm sure there'd be people out there that watch ru- a lot of rugby that'll go like, "No, nah, we've seen that in heaps of games. We've seen that exact same scenario." That blah blah blah. But the key giveaway for me was. All the backs in behind Bernard Foley, who was meant to be kicking the ball for touch, were yelling at him, screaming at him, abusing him, saying kick the ball. But, but this, even mm. the first, like, so you're 100% right. And, like, I was watching this with my father-in-law on the couch um, on Thursday when I was on. And like even him kicking for touch when he was seven or whatever, he was taking so long. I sat there and I'm just yeah. like, like, kick the ball, <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> Like, it's, I think it's one of my and biggest. Drop it, yeah. Swing the, <laughs> yeah. Like, it was just more like it, it's one of my pet hates in like in all like the um both the rugby codes. It's like yeah. like a converter's got a conversion literally ten meters out directly in front. And they're sitting there giving it these ones, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it! <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to miss it from there. Just yeah, literally put yeah, it on the team, yeah, walk back, okay, see you later. Yeah. Like I get well, the whole, I get the whole routine thing, and yeah. so that, that was like, kick the fucking ball. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I agree, but I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that he, you'd thought that earlier. Yeah, in the I game said it to him because, at the twentieth minute. Yeah, yeah, and because that's what that's what other people have reported to yeah. me is that that one he got penalised for was not the longest mm. of them. It was like probably shorter than the average yeah. time to kick the ball like, that game. Like the, so. these things, it's like it's a touch finder. Yeah. Just kick it into the crowd and move so, yeah, on. Like that. that. Yeah, and that's probably something I hate about it is that like if it's been going on the whole game and you haven't penalised it and then you sort of, oh, there's one point in it with 30 seconds to go. I'm going to yeah, do something about one. this. Correct, yeah. And that's the thing. That's You need to actually have watched 
lots of rugby to know or probably him play lots of rugby to actually be able to comment on it. Yeah. But I did kind of like the comment from Nigel Owens. Uh, skin, hey, who was, can who I was, jump in yeah. before night? Nigel Owens has got like a compilation of his, how he talks to the players on like yeah, YouTube yeah. or Facebook. Yeah. Very it's good. It's outstanding. Mm. And okay. contrary to popular belief, he actually has a lot of friends. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> took, took me a while, but with you, <laughs> glad we wasted yeah. those three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, he says, sometimes the unpopular decisions are the correct decisions. Mm. To be fair, the referee, he'd made a strong decision. This is strong refereeing. He's clearly given warning. There's a lot of time gone. The rest of the back line is shouting at Bernard to get the ball off the field. The easy thing for the referee to do here, which others may have well done, would be to ignore the time wasting and let him kick it out 35 seconds after the penalty is given and do nothing about it. No one would have had a go at the referee, so he's actually made a strong refereeing decision. That's what he said. What do you make of that? It's such a fine line between like a strong refereeing yeah. decision and you're yeah. making this game about you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. if you're yeah. saying no one would have complained about the refereeing, I'd be taking that option. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's what I it was like. I kind of agree with the logic at the start where it's like sometimes the easy decision isn't the correct one. It's like, yeah, sure. But then he goes on to say essentially like if he did that, no one would have blown up at him. Well, yeah, if no one's blowing up at you, then you probably, probably did the right it, thing. Yeah, <laughs> that probably makes it right. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah. Guys, I think last week or the week before, we actually spoke about uh, chair offs because uh, there's been a few retirements around. We spoke about James Roberts getting chaired off or mm-hmm. um, mm. finishing up his NRL career. Um, and we asked you guys for some stories about uh, players who either deserve to be chaired off or maybe didn't deserve to be chaired off or yeah. you know, some some stories that might involve someone getting chaired off the field. Mm-hmm. Um, I had one too, Goody, sent in. Um, oh, beautiful. Western fantastic. Bulldogs legend Chris Grant. You're not as big as I know man. Chris Grant. You know yeah. Chris Grant. War yeah. number three. Uh, deserved a chairing Why off but never that? got one. Instead really? of making a song and dance about retiring in true Grant style, he slipped quietly out the back door after the season's end. Was he a 300 gamer? Yes. He would have been close, yeah. 300 gamer. Yeah. And didn't get chaired off. Right. So he, he voluntarily. Some, some um, people just like going out that way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Good that on. would be you, I reckon, Skin. You're quite achiever, mate. Can't quite imagine I'm playing 300 AFL games. But you play 300 for yeah. the Tigers. But anyway. <laughs> but no, we asked the, uh, we asked the uh, Instagram uh, listeners, and we actually got one, and it's a uh, former caller of the show, uh, Jack Wilmoth. Jack, have we got you there, mate? We've get, he's been a guest, hasn't he? He has been a guest. A full time Hey, guest. guys. Yes, good to, good, good to be back, um, fellas. Remember, uh, it's my, been a long time. My favorite Jack Wildman story, he wasn't even present <laughs> for. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to talk about. When Marnus, episode 100, if you're just tuning in, when Marnus said, Jack Wildman, he's the walking nickname. I think I'm directly quoting him. He's the walking nickname. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll give, it, give us some of them. Oh, well, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I never got a right to reply. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and have you heard a name. comment as dim-witted as that? I would have thought so. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> this is to surprise me, old man. Yeah, yeah, absolute la la la. Anyway, Pidgey, um, you, yep. you've got a story about maybe uh, a, a character that uh, got uh, uh, carried off the field uh, in a contest that maybe didn't deserve to be carried off the field or in a scenario that might have been uh, yeah. not, not worthy, shall we say? <laughs> Yeah, look from a maybe a ten gamer of you know local first grader, I'd imagine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a good chuckle in the car the other week listening um, to you guys' episode, and um, I was just waiting for it, waiting for it to come because um, you wouldn't read about it. one of the members in your you know your your crew there's um, been chaired off after about ten games. Um, <laughs> fuck, nice piece of it. Um, but anyone do. For any of the other, you know, the, the 25 people that probably were there, um, it was quite a good day. Um, there's a photo going around on Facebook, I believe, but Dreno, um, late in the day, um, batting like an absolute um, legend, I guess. Uh, <laughs> That's a very loose term, mate. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, I'm throwing some mail on it. Um, so cops, convincing. Cops a beamer, I believe, um, late in the day, and it was enough to kind of, you know, call it quits the game, and that's a draw. Well done, goes out of jail. Um, <laughs> but somehow this beamer has caught, you know, these two people have gone out there, picked him up, and chaired him off the field after a beamer. Anyway, it turns out he'd hurt his finger, so it didn't even hit him in the head or anything like that. It hit him on the finger, and he's there getting chaired off. There's a photo of a gun around. It's brilliant, mate. I was, and the whole night, he was finger in an ice, little ice pack, and it's like, mate, you got chaired off today. You, you got to be. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's my recollection of it. It was quite wild. Well That's ago, exactly but, uh, how I remember it too, mate. That's exactly how I remember it. That's pretty much how I remember it. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I was gonna, do you have any reply yeah, to that? Or what's, I'm keen what? to hear your version yeah. of the story. <laughs> so, all I remember is. Yeah. I think Jack had batted 
Jack had batted already, and then so went Jack and Heath Pedrola, who was our coach. And you, were, Goody was playing in this day. He was opening the batting. Jack was batting five. Oh, I've seen in the middle summer here. Yeah, and yeah. the Pedrola six. And anyway, that so whoever were playing Sunshine Sunny Coast, Coast yeah. yeah, Sunshine Coast had a guy that bowled fast named Matt Gale, who played a couple of games for Queensland and stuff. And as I was walking out about, Heath Pedrola has walked out and got a golden duck. Thanks for that, Heath. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to bat out to not get bowled out. Like we're trying to bat out for a draw. So they need mm. five wickets or whatever. It's getting dark. It was fucking dark. Was I'll give you credit. Very yeah, dark. This, this bloke was <laughs> rapid. Dark. And as Heath walked past me after his sensational first ball duck, he said, Lee, don't give him a sniff. <laughs> so I'm going, oh, yep, beautiful. Thank you. Really noted. Be good. So, yeah, so I've walked out the bat. And I think I'd faced about two balls and he's and apparently Matt Gale, actually I've spoken to him about this. And he said the guy at mid-off said, blow his toe off. Right. To, to Matt Gale. That's what that's what he got. Blow his to thumb do. off. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that is a small miss. <laughs> chest, chest high at me. And uh, like I think everyone thought it had killed me because like I I got hit and I just sprawled yeah. on the ground. Like, <laughs> Gloves and helmet went everywhere. <laughs> like, it was like toys out of the cot scenario. <laughs> so people genuinely thought I'd been thumped in like the neck or the head or something like that. <laughs> And so ever and the umpires genuinely immediately umpires two duck two duck yeah oh, they've just called the game off just bang no nah, no nah, that's it draw so I was like oh man, really shit so like I sort of like realised as I've like put all this mail and how injured I was I've realised that like I'm not actually hurt here <laughs> <laughs> like I'm fine it hit me in the finger so I've started holding my finger that the two people that. Came out to carry me off, thought that it was like I'd been knocked unconscious, so they've got under a leg each and started cheering me. I'm all right, guys, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, I'll take it from here. Yeah, I think I'm all right, guys. I remember the worst thing was I had to hold my stinking yeah. finger well, in like a that's, video camera. Well, that's the way, that's where I was going to jump in. So it was the last game of a regular season, so as you do at the end of a game. It was, it was, yeah, it might have been before Christmas. Like, like, well, the Sunny Coast boys hung around for a few hours. We had a, a handful of beers that night. So Lethal's had to sort of stand there with ice pack on finger and every other orifice on his body just to like <laughs> keep this act up. And they finally left at about 8 p.m. And then he sort of waited for their bus to leave and goes, Oh, I think that's feeling a little bit better now. <laughs> <laughs> he was very quiet. Oh, he was very quiet, quiet as a church mouse, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly finger what in what the bucket. Just, you know, <laughs> oh, it was finger in the bucket. Embarrassing. Well, <laughs> so embarrassing. I proper got chaired off for yeah. a sore index yeah. finger. Not broken. <laughs> Not broken. <laughs> Slightly bruised. Oh, tenth, did your 10th game probably, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I think 10 might be generous. Yeah. Yeah. About eight games. Generous. So. Probably eight. <laughs> when Jack, I played second level with Jack last week and he said, how did you not bring up that story? I was like, well, I'm definitely not going to be the one to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> one of the most. Fair, we both got a text from him like about 9.40 on Thursday morning. So you yeah. idiots, why didn't you just talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so no, I thought very good. we better get Jack on and let him tell the story. It is a great story. Oh, yeah, thanks for getting me on, on to, um, yeah, reiterate again. That's that's good. Very no good. Worries, man. I mean, thanks for You're a regular listener of the podcast, so you deserve the chance. And, Hopefully one day we actually find out what your nicknames are. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Is it Jack? <laughs> yeah, it's Jack. Uh, uh, you're the best, mate. Uh, Thanks, you buddy. So much. Thank, thanks, boys. Have a good one. See thanks, you, mate. Bye. Bye. Um, guys, also speaking of Manus, I had mm. potentially – you remember, well, I think we've talked a couple of times about things that you should be good at that you're not good at, like – Oh, we've yeah. had that discussion before. I think you and I have had that discussion a yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Where you're just like things that you sort of take for granted that it's like everyone else does fine and you're like, actually, this is pretty hard. Uh, Marnus challenged me to a game of darts yesterday. Mm. I was nothing short of horrific. Yeah. I haven't played a lot of darts. You, you told me life. this morning. I, I sort of nearly like crashed my no, car. Because darts just, doesn't look hard, does it? Well, it's not even – it's not that – like it obviously looks hard. Like you're going to be very good at darts. You're going to be very good. But it but doesn't it's just matter. When you watch like, people that are good at darts, they just hit trip. Yeah, twice. I understand They do that. do that <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a piece. But it's just more along yeah. the lines of the way you described it to me and the way you were getting back to describe it. It's like surely you can be better than what you described to nah, me. I just kept hitting the wall. I put holes. The wall? Yeah, I was Yeah, that's, ball, that's ball. what I was saying. That was my response. I was like, how did you – What do you mean you missed the board? Yeah. No, I was genuinely missing the board. 
Oh, like, okay. actually putting holes in his wall. He was like, he was like, I've never seen someone be this bad. Oh, like, there were okay. little, there were a couple of little holes in his wall. Obviously, as you expect with dartboards, if like kids come over or something, yeah, you're yeah. gonna get some holes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but like I'm a grown man. Yeah, and I was just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> couple of weeks premature. Yeah. Yeah, so you're on a stool. <laughs> you're on a stool. <laughs> So, still grow up, so I'm, I'm throwing and we're playing that Shanghai version where you're meant to hit like one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, yeah, around yeah, the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. so I'm going for the one, which is at the top, and I was missing to the bottom, hitting the wall. Ugh, it I was used bad. To, it was I, a debacle. Bit of side yeah, note. I okay. used to be able to do a dartboard by numbers, like as in remember the dartboard, mm. but numbers. Could I'd, you? Could you um, Oh, no, nah, maybe next week I'll remember it, but I used to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's just studying next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's 21. Uh, 18? 18. Oh, skin. Yeah. Four. That's better. Yep. I think skin was actually better out of there. <laughs> and then, yeah, so That's about like, all I've got. Yeah. And then six is on that side, seven eights on oh. that side, and then nine, twelve. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys got anything to make me feel better? Anything? You no, know? not at all. I was going to say for mine. Horrendous at darts, but not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Swimming. Swimming. Bad. Yeah, horrific. You wouldn't need to swim that often though, would you? No, but like I remember like one of my first ever sessions, um, I was in the QAS squad, so with the Bulls, so I was effectively an un- unpaid member of the Bulls, right? Yeah. So it was probably about week three or four into pre so I was just sort of starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Yeah. And we went to the pool for a fitness session. I was fucking dreading this. For the moment <laughs> I saw this in the calendar, I'm just like, I need to be sick this day, <laughs> right? So we went to the pool um, uh, over at Murray. And the fitness coach goes, all right, we'll just we'll just ease our way into it. Um, we'll do just a two hundred meter freestyle to swim. And I sort of looked at him and like, I actually pulled him aside to the side. I said, mate, like, I'm not trying to get out of fitness here, but like, I can't swim two hundred meters. Like, genuinely can't swim. And he's like, what do you mean? I saw, I can't. Like, I'll, if I could get you fifty to a hundred, like, I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. Did you do it? it? Yeah, I got I got a hundred. I got there and back, and I was like, like, felt like I was having a heart attack. Cardiac arrest. Yeah, yeah so I'm but like, gen- right like now. it's not because I'm like I was fit back then. It's just I was fucking mm. terrible. I yeah. wouldn't drown. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you like, made me go two hundred, yeah, baby. <laughs> but like honestly, like it was just sort of like I. I just had this guy this date penciled in, and I'm just like, "This is going to be the worst day of my life. This is going to be the worst." And it was. Yeah. 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 Okay. Maybe. Right. Skin. Nothing. I've got plenty of things I'm not that great at. Yeah. But I was. Yeah. I was going to agree with darts, and you've you've taught me there. Certainly pool. I'm horrendous at pool. Like, in, uh, like not uh, swimming. billiards. No, yeah, yeah, billiards. No, I'm yeah. not that great Snow at game. swimming either. I'm probably yeah. topping out around 200 meters. But I feel like we're all good at the same things, except like all all not good at the mm. same thing. Oh, you yeah. might be okay at pool. I'm, I'm not quite good at pool. pool. Yeah. Yeah. Like again, when do, how dust. often do you play it? Same we had a pool almost table. never. Yeah, that's and we had a dart table. I don't understand that. Board, dart table. It's like beer pong with darts. <laughs> 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 how do you keep missing the table? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep hitting it. Actually, I'm winning. But yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't understand how people are so good at that. You go down to the pub. Like I would, I would play pool maybe three or four times a year, and you go down, and people are just gurus at it. I don't. When, when, do you, when do you practice pool? Yeah, no, but I just expect you guys to be better at it. It's more where I'm coming. Yeah. Well, just Athletes. like you guys Have you play watched sport. me play sport? I've watched you play cricket. Yeah, and I'm mediocre at best. No, you're way above <laughs> mediocre. You, yeah, please, open your bat face a little bit more. You'll be a bloody superstar, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah, true, actually. Did you see Tim Davis? video of Tim oh, oh, Good God. No, no, I can't wait for that face. to be coached out of him. That'll be good. <laughs> 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 All right, who's doing um, – you're in for a tweet. Well, I mean, it's down for me, and you guys have kindly put in the tweet of the week, but I did. I certainly haven't. I chucked a couple in there. Well done, beautiful. Now, I mentioned it in our group chat last night that um, Dane Swan's doing the brown low. Uh, Twenty again. There's always some gold in there as well. So Great I'm tradition, go- isn't it? He's done that a few years. I reckon yeah. we've used him mm. ever since we've been. We got the chocolate yeah. podcast. And I reckon yeah, be four yeah. or five years. I reckon. So I haven't even looked at these tweets yet, so I'm going in blind. So if they're not good, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll throw some blame. No, that That's my fault. <laughs> beautiful. So from Swanee uh, tweets for sports bet. Uh, if they're actually deciding a segment to blokes getting one, brown low vote. This might be the last time I ever do this. Yeah. Spare me. Yeah. I just love the spare me. Spare me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they gave a segment last night to blokes getting one, one vote. Right, yeah. yeah. And he said, because he's done it for like four years, yeah. he's like, this is the last time I'm doing it if they're doing this. Yeah. yeah. He did another funny one too of um because Georgie Artis from Port Adelaide won the – oh, shit. I've just realised a crucial part of my job. God, he didn't whistle it either. 
Yeah, you're in for a tweet. Nice. Um, yeah, Georgie Artist won Mark of the Year, but like didn't hold it cleanly. Like it was paid like as yeah. a mark, but yeah. when he hit the ground, the ball spilled away. Yeah, yeah. Dad's yeah. what tweeted. Was that for drop of the year? <laughs> 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 no way he held that. Yeah. Um, and one more from Swanee. Uh, fun fact, uh, Buddy, as in Buddy Franklin, kicked more goals than North Melbourne has supporters. Rough. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a North True. Melbourne supporter apart from Ricky Ponting? Yeah, I know one. Um, who's old mate from Adam and Simon podcast? Really? Oh, so North. Yes, of course. It was not Adam. It was Simon. probably Simon then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was Ed. <laughs> Maybe it was Adam. No, it was Simon. Simon's a North Melbourne supporter. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, yeah, that's no. right. It's, uh, okay, so he's the only one. And, yeah. and, he's the only one I know. And that is Tweet of the Week. <laughs> nice to do. And rightio, that's another week of the Chocolates podcast complete. We welcome you to be a part of the Chockies crew and get around us on the socials or get in touch at the website. Yep, the socials are Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and, and Snapchat. Snapchat. Thank on. you, Lethal. Make sure you head over to Snapchat. We're just, we got the chocolates on all those places, I believe. Uh, the website, we got the chocolates.com.au. And if you've got anything specific for the podcast, you can send that to our email as well. Hello at we got the chocolates.com.au. I checked out your emails before. You are, you are fire. Yeah, man. Email. We've got a whole system of labels and things. There's going. a lot of folders there. Yeah. I'm just trying to organize my life and mm. failing miserably. No, you're so going, anyway. you're going, buddy. But uh, no, you're good. Just just put everything in drive. Uh, Watch that, that video hard. with Tim David and you'll sort your life out. It's pretty hard. Hit it in the air, hit it for six, right? And make sure you go to our YouTube. It's flying at the moment. And someone sprayed me the other day because I wrote back some comment and they thought they were talking to you. But I've explained this numerous times. I don't know how to comment. I don't know how much more clearly I can be. I'm doing my best. I'll read them and have a smile later, you know, while I'm on, you know, doing something. He'll reply to you on the podcast. Yeah. Just, I'll reply, so just any mail you've got for me directly, do it from this medium. What, the, po- the podcast. While you're listening to the podcast. While you're yeah. listening, so ring me. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a personal number. Yeah. Perfect. From Cody Mitchell and myself, thank you so much for listening. We love making this and we're very glad that you do listen. And just uh, remember to tell your friends as well, word of mouth. Tell a friend at least that you listen to We Got The Chocolates. That would be very, very helpful. Remember that if you're finding ways to have a good time and a laugh with your mates this week, you are absolutely getting the chocolates. As always, we love having you here. We'll speak to you this time next week. Good luck in the future. And that stops. Well, that's the podcast. So what the hell are you still doing here? Go and get the chocolates, you marvellous beast. <laughs>